Ever pondered how often you should engage in intimate activities with your partner? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Welcome to our discussion on sexual frequency, a topic that has intrigued, puzzled and sparked debates among experts for decades. Dive into the world of renowned relationship therapists, psychologists and sexologists who have dedicated their lives to understanding the intricacies of sexual relationships. They offer valuable insights that may reshape your perception of normal sexual frequency. Dr. Laura Berman, a leading sex and relationship educator, suggests that the right frequency varies significantly from couple to couple. It depends on numerous factors such as age, health status, lifestyle, and overall relationship satisfaction. Therefore, comparing your sexual frequency with others can be misleading and potentially damaging. Echoing her thoughts, Dr. Ian Kerner, a licensed psychotherapist and sexuality counselor, emphasizes the importance of quality over quantity. He proposes that couples should focus more on the emotional connection, intimacy, and satisfaction derived from sexual activities rather than the sheer number of encounters. On the other hand, some experts propose a more quantifiable approach. For instance, a renowned study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine suggests that once a week is an optimal frequency for most couples. However, the study also points out that having sex more frequently does not necessarily correlate with increased happiness. Taking a different perspective, Dr. Jessica O'Reilly, a sexologist and relationship expert, encourages couples to define their own sexual normal. According to her, the ideal sexual frequency is what feels right and fulfilling for both partners, regardless of societal norms or statistics. In summary, experts agree that there is no one-size-fits-all answer to the question of sexual frequency. The right frequency depends on various personal factors and the nature of the relationship. Above all, quality, emotional connection, and mutual satisfaction should take precedence over the number of sexual encounters. Remember Dr. Berman's advice, don't compare your sexual frequency with others. Dr. Kerner emphasizes the importance of quality over quantity in sexual encounters. The Journal of Sexual Medicine suggests that once a week can be an optimal frequency, but more is not necessarily better. And Dr. O'Reilly encourages couples to define their own normal. In the end, the key is open communication and understanding between partners. It's about finding a balance that suits both parties and nurtures the relationship. After all, sex is a form of communication, a way to express love and intimacy. So make sure it's a conversation both of you are comfortable with and enjoy. Hello, I'm your host for this video. I hope you found the perspectives shared by our experts, Dr. Berman, Dr. Kerner, and Dr. O'Reilly, insightful and helpful. As we've discussed, the frequency of sexual encounters in a relationship is a deeply personal matter. It's not about matching up to societal standards or comparing with others, but finding what works best for you and your partner. We've seen how Dr. Berman advises against comparisons with others, and Dr. Kerner emphasizes the importance of quality over quantity. The Journal of Sexual Medicine suggests an optimal frequency of once a week, but this doesn't mean more is necessarily better. Most importantly, Dr. O'Reilly encourages couples to define their own normal. Remember that sex is a form of communication, a way to express love and intimacy. Open, honest dialogue is key. Don't be afraid to discuss your needs and desires, and make sure you listen to your partners as well. It's about finding a balance that suits both parties and nurtures the relationship. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more expert advice and discussions on a variety of topics. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.